An incredible race! Look at it! Every driver is being so aggressive! Check it out! They'll all be feeling the pressure right now. None more so than young Aiden Jackson from Carlin. That's right. Rumors from the paddock talk about a possible future for Jackson in Formula 1. And with only a few laps to go, this is still anyone's race. The atmosphere here is electric and we couldn't have asked for a better finish to the F2 season here in Abu Dhabi. You're doing great, keep focused, you know what to do. Copy that! Nice overtake.
Fantastic work, Aiden. Great drive, mate. Congratulations. Yes! Come on! And he's done it! Jackson's done it! Aiden Jackson wins the F2 Championship! What a win for Jackson! What a win! And it couldn't have gone to a better driver. A magnificent result. He's already been vocal about his dreams of one day driving for Ferrari in Formula One. Let's just hope the right people are watching today. And here he is, the man of the moment, Aiden Jackson. An amazing race and a fantastic win for this incredible driver. Indeed. After this, I guarantee that Jackson will be the hot topic in more than a few upcoming F1 team meetings. The future's definitely bright for this young driver. Aiden, now you've made the leap to Formula One, no surprise to anyone who's been watching your career. How does it feel to be on the verge of getting behind the wheel for your first race? To be honest with you, Will, it hasn't really quite sunk in yet. The team has given me a fantastic opportunity. It's a once in a lifetime, a dream come true. So to answer your question, I feel like a little kid. I look around and I'm surrounded by my heroes, you know? I've even had to pinch myself a couple of times. So, yeah, it, it can be a bit overwhelming. But out on the track, the speed, the noise, even the smell, it's all the same. I just hope my driving is too. And what about Kasper Ackerman? Are you intimidated at all having such a seasoned and experienced driver as your first teammate in Formula One? How's that relationship coming along? I've always looked up to Casper as someone to aspire to. Growing up as a kid, his pictures were all over my bedroom walls, you know? The dream was always to be Casper. But, as it turns out, I'll be racing alongside Casper, which is good enough for me. I get to learn from the best. Besides, every legend has to start somewhere, right? <laughs> Aiden. Just wondering if we can get your reaction to the obvious comparisons that are being made between you and another F1 driver. Much like you, he made the transition from F2 to F1 last season. What do you say to the press here and to your fans who are calling you the new Devon Butler? <laughs> the new Devon Butler. I'm all right with that. Does that mean we can lose the old one? <laughs> You come over well. They like you. I don't know what you were worried about. Thanks. You know, everything's gonna be fine out there today. I just know it. Just do what you did in F2. Easy. Thanks, Brian. I won't let you down. got this. Hello? Aiden! Are you in your room? Oh, hey Brian. Yeah, I'm in my room. Good. Well, have a look around. I hope you like it. Should be everything you need in there. News feeds, social media. Hey, it's hooked up to the lot. Just do me a favour, eh? Go on. Make sure you check your emails. I think there's a message in there for you. Oh, right. Thanks, Brian. Take a breather, do what you need to do, and I'll see you before the race. Nice one. Hello? Hello, love. 
How's it going? All right, Ma. Yeah, it's going all right. Just getting ready. I saw your interview. And? You need a haircut. <laughs> all right. Well, thanks, I guess. But aside from that, you were great. I'm so proud of you, Aiden. I know, Ma. Thanks. I wish I could be out there with you. This is everything you've worked towards. Yeah, I know, but you'll be at the next one. Just do what you do, and everything will be great. Thanks, Ma. And remember, mirror signal maneuver. And always stick to the speed limit. Great advice. I'm all over it. I know you are, love. I'll speak to you later. Good luck. Bye. Push it further. Copy that. Uh, where's Casper? He's up ahead. Let's try and bring you two closer together. behind us is 2.6 seconds. Casper's in P10 at the moment. couple of places up on you. Closing in on Casper now, Aiden. Good job. Casper is directly ahead of you. is 2.8 seconds. OK, 
Today, the gap behind is 2.6 seconds. Casper is directly ahead of you. this has been, but there's still plenty of time for more drama. There certainly is, Crofty, and these two have been fighting each other incredibly hard so far. They don't want to go tripping over each other, though, because Devon Butler is coming up from behind. He's on the attack, too. Aiden, Casper's not your priority. We need you to defend. It's OK. I've got this. Here comes Butler. Three abreast going into turn 11. Oh, this can't work! And it doesn't! Ackerman's off onto the verge of what looks like damage as well! Is he okay? Is Casper okay? He'll be fine. He's heading for the pits now. You just concentrate on the race. And there we have it! I'm sure there's going to be fireworks in the Haas garage tonight. There will be Crofty for sure. Look, it was a late move from Devon Butler, but you never want to see two teammates make contact, and Ackerman will surely be seething at that one. Absolutely, and I'll tell you who else isn't going to be happy too. Aidan Jackson, not how his F1 race debut should have gone. The damage appears to be minor. How's it feeling, Aidan? Yeah, car's okay. Understood. See how well you can do out there. Copy. You're putting a good distance between yourself and the car behind. Behind is 8.3 seconds. Five laps of fuel remaining. Maneuver, you made it look easy. You're in the top ten now, keep it up. OK, 
Okay, gap ahead is 2.2 seconds. of fuel remaining. is 4.2 seconds. teammate by 41.0 seconds.
Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. That's it for another Grand Prix and a fantastic win for Mercedes. What a start to the season this has been. A fascinating race here in Australia at. The top teams as ever continue to push the boundaries of the sport and it'll be interesting to see how the new Haas driver Aidan Jackson settles in, especially after that early incident involving his teammate. Well, we've certainly seen rivalries born from less. Suffice to say, if you came into the 2020 season hoping for a bit of drama, it looks like you won't be disappointed. And I can see the drivers starting to approach the podium for the victory celebrations. A real team victory today. Everybody played their part. Congratulations then to Mercedes, your race winners today. Casper, listen, I don't know what happened out there. It wasn't my fault. Well, whose fault was it then? Who was the idiot behind the wheel of your car, hmm? You're pathetic. You won't even admit when you made a mistake. I'm... How did they ever sign you? Oh, Butler. I'm um, Devon. I didn't see that. I what, like, out on the track today? You nearly took me out, mate. Look, I don't know what happened. You cut in, I swerved. Next thing I knew, Casper was out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mate, I was nothing to do with it. Whatever that was, that was all on you. Don't be trying to pass the blame, because you haven't settled in yet. Sorry, Aiden. Just bear with us one sec. No problem. You seem to find your feet quite quickly after you graduated from Formula 2. What advice would you give to Jackson in his first season? Well, stay out of my way mostly. <laughs> and uh, taking out your own teammate isn't something I would make a habit of. Almost ready, Aiden. We're just checking audio levels. Uh, sure. Seriously, Casper must be wondering what on earth has we're thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Thanks, Devin. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ian. Let's talk about that incident with your teammate. Brian. Talk to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Listen, what happened out there today? I had it all under control and then... Look, let's not go through all that now. We'll talk about it at the debrief. Right, yeah. I was actually talking about your little running with Casper and Butler over in the paddock. Oh, wow. News travels fast. The paddock talks, Aiden. Besides, I've got ears like a hawk. Listen, Butler's a clown. The man's ego is bigger than a... No, I've got nothing. Don't give it a second thought. Thanks, Brian. But Casper? <laughs> yes, he can get a little hot-headed, especially after a race. But you have got to work with him. That manoeuvre today... Wasn't my fault, Brian. It probably cost us points. I'll level with you. A lot of people on the team are disappointed, Aiden. And I'll be saying as much to Casper. Now, learn from it and move on. But you can't let it happen again. I'll see you at the debrief.